Clapping. No. Are we ready for the mic, aren't we? Absolutely. I'm saying that because the first thing you asked me, she was like, are you ready? I said, yeah, we're ready. So why did you allow the instrumental to play for long? I mean, let's get, let's get, get into it straight up. I mean, we've stayed over the weekend without talking to anybody. Yeah. Don't you miss them? I did, actually. Absolutely. And, and I totally understand when you say, are we ready? Let's get, go get them. But sometimes I need to allow that instrumental play. It, it's like that calm after all the storm you know mm. a moment to just take a deep breath and just enjoy life and think about life mm. and forget about all the wahala that nigeria i mean a whole lot happened oh over the my yeah, 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 yeah. Apart, the, apart from the fact that it was valentine mm. and we saw a lot of red and white out there <laughs> <laughs> you know but yeah a lot still happened over the weekend uh -huh. and um, a lot of good, a lot of also not so good, and I'm sure, and I also know that a lot of Nigerians are still having a mixed feeling yep. at the moment. But we're here to just help you feel better. That's exactly what we're here. So if you can, if you, if you end up hearing us say, "What is this program about? Are they here to be playing drum?" How are they shouting? What's up, Lagos? Remember that you're in distress. You need help. <laughs> <laughs> that we all need help. Because the truth is, um, if psychologists would tell you the truth, I think 90% of the Nigerian population, in fact, I would say 99%, don't ask me why I did the research. You know, from what you can see around, I can agree with if someone says 90% of Nigerians, you know, are, are going through hard times in a very special way. You're very correct. You, know, you don't even know what to expect. So many things happening at the same time. The emotions now, Still here and there. The price is up. No fraud out there. I realized that if you few vehicles on the road and I was like, what's going on? They said, ah, fuel, no fuel, no fuel. So we're going to start the show this morning by finding out from you what is happening in, in your, your neighborhood mm -hmm. and how the weekend went for you. We can't come here and pretend as if we didn't hear all that happened, you know, on Saturday. You know, we talked about it. Uh, we, can't, we can't pretend that we didn't hear that. Or we're not aware of the fact that we hear that there's no fuel in town and people are already, you know, there's this... Uh, panic buying that's ongoing and people are already scared oh hope we're not going to experience this and um, we're not blind to the fact that there's still corona in the mix mm. and the people are dying Absolutely. but we're just here to make you feel better indeed as you said that's right Absolutely. so first of all tell us how did your weekend go? Uh -huh. Were you part of people who celebrated Valentine? Were you part of people who were at the protest ground? Uh, were you arrested as well? What was, what was your experience? I mean, Mr. Macaroni is the guy of the weekend. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the guy for everyone right now because he actually went out to the protest ground. Yep. And his experience wasn't exactly good. He All came right. out to also explain, uh, to tell us... Mm -hmm what he experienced, you know, and I, I, I didn't feel good listening to that. A lot of tension. In fact, I felt I felt insecure, you know, the people who are supposed to protect us and understand and feel our pulse and know why we're actually protesting yeah. are the people threatening to kill us, even though we are coming there without arms. Hmm. We're coming there without, you know, uh, force. We're not coming to fight. We're coming so that our voice can be heard, you know, mm. our voices can be heard, mm. but they're threatening to kill us. <laughs> Well, when he, when, when How tragic can that sound? But you know, the, mix, the funniest thing again in the mix is that, you know, at the end of the day, whether the police or those who are being threatened or those who are passing or the guys who are running were pursued by the police <laughs> and everyone around, every single one is Nigerian. We're all Nigerians. So at the end of the day, where did the police come from? Is it not from the society? But that's the conversation that probably you've had enough with Sheriff in the, on the morning crossfire mm. and, and our other colleagues. But my point right here is that on social media, I realized that Nigerians were somehow even divided. You heard some people were saying, oh, but they, they warned you not to go there. Why did you go Why there? Why did you go there? You so, went so, at your so, own so, risk. So but there, are two, there are mixed reactions right now. Mm. Some, If you listen keenly to Nigerians, you'll be able to understand what side they stand. Yeah. But there are others who say, why did they go there? The government had warned before now. They had announced that. Why did they still go there? Hmm. And then others would be like, yes, why can't I go there? I'm a citizen. Yeah. So what's my... We have I'm, freedom, a, a freedom to express exactly. You know? And you can hear, I've heard um, um, Sheriff and, 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 and um, Uncle Jimmy talk about that it, protest is fundamental human rights. Absolutely. You have the right to do it, it as a citizen. It is. So it's a mixed reaction. Guys, if I had my way, I will have us, all of us, talk about this and say, okay, what do you have to say about this? But see, 
is it that what I want to talk about? Abi, is it what's happening in your state that there's curfew now in your state? Mm. Because of, you know, you heard in the news, the killings, the fighting. The unrest. It's, it's a terrible sight oh. to look at. I mean, I saw videos online. Uh -huh. And trust me, they are not good sight. It's not a good sight at all. Absolutely. So, you know, guys. People lost their properties and what have you. So It's just, it's just like that. That's the mood. But guess what? In the midst of this, you have to live. You have to survive. Mm -hmm. You can't go and come and go and kill yourself. <laughs> ooh, ooh, don't worry. Okay, who's going to worry? Okay, you want to worry, Abby? Okay, I'm with you. All right? I'm with you. It's, worry. it's okay to worry. But, 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 if you now go and worry and kill yourself, who will now be worried? <laughs> oh, my God. So, the idea here is to get us right with party right now. Now, there's a little victory. And it's hope. It's my right. I mean, because I tell us how I feel in the middle. Huh? Okay, it's really awesome. Tell us how you're going to tell us. Yeah, do the food. Oh. Or I think I'll be a spirit ally. It's my life. Like, <laughs> like, 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 I was first. Yeah. Tried all his best. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried all his best. Okay. Okay. I love it. I know. <laughs> but it was not enough. It, and it wasn't enough. Okay. I don't think I was in the right... You know, frame, frame of, of mind. mind so you can wake up in a bad time no 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 i actually okay. want to express love but i don't think i was in the right frame of mind i mean i feel like there are too many things too many things to attend to uh -huh. you know yeah i feel guilty right now yeah, like but i feel very guilty no but it's okay and a lot guilty. of people will be in that sh this shoe you're in there right now <laughs> because know. look at what's happening now who's valentine right, when right. they are fighting killings this year and that some people still found a way to to celebrate not nonetheless not yeah of but, course, of course. but you know you'd have wished that you had you're in love with your country in such a way that your country exchange gifts on valentine's day As in... and also exchange gifts with your loved one at home it, that's when, when are we going sweet. to get to that point where on valentine's day our the president will say okay Give this to all the citizens. I mean, research can you know, yes, using all be. you understand, using all the you know, telecoms, sending each uh, citizen research card money for Valentine. How about that? Let's even, let's even, let's even, let, let's even chop something. It's okay, oh, uh -uh, it's part of our know, money. So, you one day, citizen. that's why we're expressing <laughs> this from you know, our country, Nigeria. What's up? I guess. I guess our minds are traveling far because that sounds like something that's going to take like forever to, uh, to, to achieve. To I achieve. Know, mm -hmm. I know. But but let's get back to you guys and also bring you up to speed with what we'll be talking about throughout the day on the show uh, between now and uh, half past the hour of eleven before we bring past solution. So we'd we'll have our, our family talk conversation today, which will focus on. Ah, this particular one is uh -huh. something that I have been fighting Collins with. I mean, we have both. I don't know. We are not yet on the same page mm -hmm. about this. Okay. And I'm sure that parents out there would also um, relate to what we're, we'll be talking about today. So we're asking you this question. What's the thing line between teaching your child or your children self-defense and actually encouraging violence. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, Collins is a person who enjoys this UFL, right? U UFC, UFC. U UFC, rather. And boxing, too. Yeah, yeah you know? boxing and the rest of that. He yeah. loves it a lot. And he says it's a cool sport. Sure, and I am not interested in something like that. Now, he's saying that you can use that as self-defense. You can teach them yep. this. And I'm like, no, no, please. Please, I beg you, be with God. Do not do this. Don't teach this boy this thing. So we are we, we were caught in, in this world. On, on this world, don't teach him that. In this life, don't that, teach him. In that. this life that we have mushi and don't we have teach him. You can teach him other things. I mean, self defense. Self defense. Know how to boom one down. No, and run away. Not and that. How you are you sure uh -huh. that doing this boom one down? Uh -huh. He will not one day playing with his friends. He goes boom. One no, down. No, it's not. It, that's why we know that's when. The thing. Exactly. It's what, not where's the, the when thing he's too young now. Nah. When? It's when he has grown. He's, uh, grown he to what him. age? To, to when he can tie blue. <laughs> so when is the age that you can tie <laughs> so, so Lagos, that is the topic. And that I hope by now you can feel our pause. <laughs> now you can understand where this conversation is going. So I hope that <laughs> you're already coming up with your opinion. Oh, we'll want to hear from you, you know, when yeah. it's time for that. Absolutely. When we get into that conversation, we try to demystify the essence of teaching uh, children self-defense strategies mm. in our contemporary times. We also would examine the pros and cause of equipping a child with self-defense strategies. Even as we explore ways to of establishing a clear-cut difference between teaching self-defense mm. and what? Violence. Violence. That will be from half past the hour. For now, Lagos.
Let's uh, build you. Uh huh. We want to know how you're doing this moment. Uh huh. Talk to us. Uh huh. And scream. Uh huh. What's up, Lega? Yes. <laughs> now I have a major announcement to make. There is a special line specifically for ladies. Uh huh. You see the line you have been listening the um alternative line that you guys use because sometimes we couldn't you couldn't get us through our 0700 but now it's working so you can call us through 0700 993 993 993 but we do have a specific line for ladies every lady out there because i noticed the men they're quick to call and this is the special number i'll All let right. the lady do the honor so my ladies you can call 0809 597 5805 all right Okay, you can call 081-465-7190. Absolutely. Well, you can call that. And call our regular lines, 0809. Did I say that? Callings, come on. 0700-993-993-993. Welcome, <laughs> Bay. I didn't even say good morning to you, really. Yeah, you have been struggling with this very intense pain. Man. You'll be fine. No let them, no let them know. Okay. No, let them know. <laughs> no best. They can't be asking what's the no pain. No best, no best. Anyways, <laughs> let's take this call. <laughs> What's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? Ah, at least somebody's excited. <laughs> hey. Welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, to you. Same to you. Same to you. Same to you. I will call. I will call you pop up and bones. I say pop up. You you will no, be pop up and bones. You 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 you. Who's pop up? I don't know why. Who's bones? Why did you? Why have you refused to accept pop up? Pop up one. My name is Adria. I just want to greet you. Oh, oh good, good to have, have you. you. <laughs> Man, where are you calling yeah, yeah. from? By the way, did you tell us where you're calling Open from? State. Open, Open State. State. Great to know. Yeah. Welcome. What's up, Lagos? Good morning. Morning. What's up, Lagos? Who's there? What's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? Oh! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, to have you here. Welcome. My, my, my name is Linus from Yaba. Oh, Linus. Linus, Linus I yeah. hope you are not Lori Ira. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Linus. Good to have you. Yes, going to the conversation. Uh huh. What, what I would, what I would teach my girl is not a boy. I would, I'm not yet married, but if I if I have a girl, uh -huh. what I will teach her is uh, whenever a boy comes to you with that John Thomas, <laughs> if you can squeeze it, if you can cut it, <laughs> cut it for me and call me, I will, I will support you to any at any length. Mm. That John Thomas in between the legs, mm. I will teach my daughter to cut it whenever a. Uh -uh. a, a Okay okay, 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 okay. I mean, I mean, I, we'll hear more of this uh, in a... Uh, at half past the hour. At, yeah, half past, ha half past the hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. But right now, we want to feel you. Like, what's happening around you? Uh-huh. Let's take another call. <laughs> this bros. You there? What's up, nigga? What's up? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. Chance to life. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Welcome, good morning. Good morning. Good the morning. network is, I mean, it's terrible. Yes, yeah, so welcome. The, the network. Uh, the network. Uh, sorry. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Tosin, calling from Ikorodu. Oh. Great to have you, Tosin. Uh, well, uh, what I would teach my children uh, as the country is going. We're, we're not there yet, sir. I know you want to talk about that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to know how you're feeling, bros. Calm down, Fleck. Be coming down, sir. How are you feeling? What's happening in your area? And you know, uh, just just well, my 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 area is cool and calm this morning. Okay. Uh, but the tension is nice. People mm. are scared mm. because of the Fulani guys. Mm. Uh, because my place is very close to Oko State. Wow. And uh, if I won't lie to you, everybody's scared. Hmm. How about the fuel you. situation? The fuel, is there fuel? It's very, very bad. Uh -huh. Very, very bad. All the station locked up. Oh, huh. okay. Uh, you know the funny thing? Uh. Tell all us. All the police station asked for it. But because government have been romancing to increase the oil price, uh -huh. uh, you know... They're not this, hoarding. This, yeah, this is Nigeria. Mm -hmm. When they are planning that, they're trying to hoard it. Oh, ho. And they wish... So, mm -hmm. When, when, government, when government, last time when government tried to reduce it, no village station tried to put the price down for almost a week. 
Hmm. But now they are locking off. You know, let me tell you guys, let hmm. me tell you. Uh -huh. Nigeria needs to come out. Hmm. I know, I, I, I don't know how it's happened. Okay. This morning, I dreamed yesterday, and I saw that someone rise up for Nigeria. Hmm. And for Nigeria, and Nigeria is going to be great again. Hmm. See, what people don't know is, not the president, not everybody. There is people behind, uh, the, the, the slave master behind, that is putting this on Nigeria. Mm. So Nigeria needs to rise up. Mm. And uh. for everybody needs to come out and to fight this corrupt mm. system. Mm. I'm telling us the truth. Mm. Thank you. For Thank you. Thank you. There so, is a slave master. Everybody needs to come out now. All, all right. Nigerians need to come out. All right. Thank God you. Bless Thank God you. bless Nigeria. I love what you ended it with because at the end of the day, do you pray for Nigeria? Yeah, that's Anyways, true. Anyways, let's find out more polls, right? Yeah. <laughs> you felt a passion with the guy. I did. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Lagos? Uh, today, let's let go. It's not what's up because of what's going on. No, please. Really? Whether, whether, whether heaven is falling, <laughs> there must be what's up, Lego. Hello, please. Do you want to sack me? No, call it as your good pants now. But you say what's up, Lagos. I don't, I don't know. My what's up, Lego has nothing to do with, with, with. They want to kill us. They want to kill us. I'm, they can't kill we're, you. We're right oh. there. They can't kill you. They, nobody will kill you. No, we can't kill you. Don't worry. <laughs> just, just. What's up, Lagos? What's yes, up? just the life. Now you have like fifty. Yeah, yeah. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Mention your name. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Uh, call me Ikoi. Clearly, I'm my name is Isaac. Oh, Isaac from Ikoi. Isaac, unfortunately, we need to go on a break now. When we come back, we continue more with your calls and your situation reports from across Lagos on What's Up, Lagos. This is an infomercial. A multinational company in Lekki, Lagos is massively recruiting independent sales executives that own a car and a valid driver's license. Are you ready to work with the company with the most history worldwide? Are you ambitious? A smart worker? Do you have a great attitude? Ready to take your career to the next level? Here is an opportunity for you. Please call 0815-705-0505 or 0905-637-4258 to book for an interview. You are listening to your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Yes! Oh, thank you, thank you. I love it. Sorry, ma. Please put your mask back on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to control my excitement when I get free data to use as I like. <laughs> your mask, ma. <laughs> That's right. Get up to 36 gigabytes to use for six months when you buy any two smartphones of your choice for you and that special someone from any Glow World outlet. But hey, remember to keep your mask on and observe social distancing through your excitement. This smartphone festival offer is exclusive to Glow World stores from the 8th to the 22nd of February, 2021. Hello, Unlimited. From Ultima, the studios that brought you Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Project Fame West Africa comes the business reality show. Lion's Den, also known as Dragon's Den UK and Shark Tank USA. Aspiring entrepreneurs across Nigeria, here's your chance to pitch your best or idea, find a search of businesses that are investment ready for. Win for invest in your business and part of your dreams. In case you the take to spy on the lens and plus then have an existing Echo Bank account. Open a new Echo Bank account with a 10,000 hour deposit and visit www.ultima.ng slash Lion's Den to fill out an application form. Applications close on the 28th of February, 2021. Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Echo Bank and Chapel Hill Denham in association with Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the LIRS as strategic partners. Sometimes, pensions can feel like a football match. You'd love to get in the game and make things happen. Dive, pass the ball, tap open. But you can't. You have no choice but to sit on the sidelines and watch life happen. If you feel undervalued and unappreciated, then it's time to switch to ARM Pensions. See here, at ARM Pensions, we believe in taking action. Guys, get in the game. Because when it comes to your retirement goals, you shouldn't be on the sidelines. You should be our star player. Switch to a team of more than just pension managers. Switch to a team that appreciates you. Switch to ARM Pensions today.
ERM Pensions, invested in your tomorrow. Hey, Doredo, better than self. Now, 10 gigabyte data just like my Intel so. Guess how much? 3,000 naira. 3K, 20 for 10 gigabyte data. You sure can be? Make I add extra shock. 5,000 naira go give you 20 gigabyte data. Now, so be self for shock. That's right. With Airtel data, just a little more gets you so much more. Introducing Airtel More for More data plans like 10 gigabyte for just 3,000 naira and 20 gigabyte for 5,000 naira. Dial star one for one hash today. Airtel, the smartphone network. Uncle Dentist, what are cavities? And how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it use Kung Fu? <laughs> no, dear. Most tooth pains are caused by tooth holes called cavities. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate, because Colgate locks calcium in... Yes, cavities! Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. Say you're planning a trip to Dubai, a romantic getaway, business, family vacation, leisure. Let me give you four reasons to fly with us at Airbeats. Airbeats fly to Dubai via Sharjah International Airport. And guess what? You get to Dubai City Center in 15 minutes. How? Airbeats will get you there in style and class. I mean, talk about limos and cozy saloon cars with no extra cost to you. Let's not forget you spend a much shorter time going through immigration and baggage claim at Sharjah International Airport. You basically get to the city center faster than if you landed in DXP. When you fly Airpeats, you enjoy a much lower airfare like none other in our luxurious Boeing 777 with our hospitable cabin crew. Now tell me again why you wouldn't fly Airpeats. What are you waiting for? Oh yeah, visit www.flyairpeats.com or download our mobile app and allow us to give you the Dubai experience starting with us. You get to win money. You get to win 10,000 Naira cash on the Just a Minute Game Show. Call in to any of our shows, The Morning Crossfire, What's Up Lego, The Sunny Side, and Hard Facts. Answer as many questions as possible in 60 seconds, and you stand a chance to win 10,000 Naira. Winner will be announced on Hard Facts, Just a Minute, the game show for everyone. Right here on your number one station for talk, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Powered by Credit Deal. I don't you find that? When you talk about find out that remedy, they left for where we did. Because to find the easy for me. I wonder that is what we say easy way for me. Now linking my NIM to my glow line. Eh, don't tell me, bro. I think just best to pick up my phone. Go use the USSD code. By Dali Star 109 Star. My NIM hash. Ah, uh, quickly. I go just text my NIM to 109. I think also visit glowworld.com slash NIM. Or talk by super fast internet. If I come to the area where we say glow world near me eh? like just to walk and enter and if you don't forget your nim die star three four six hash you don't get them back some people there they call the ask question hey we don't call register for nim don't no worry yourself just walk and enter any nearest glow world no let them disconnect you from all the amazing voice and data offers where they inside glow linking your nim they safe and it's 100 percent free with zero wahala glow Grandmasters of Data. From Altima, the studios that brought you Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Project Fame West Africa, comes the business reality show, Lion's Den, also known as Dragon's Den UK and Shark Tank USA. Aspiring entrepreneurs across Nigeria, here's your chance to pitch your business or idea to five Nigerian investors who are in search of businesses that are investment ready. Bring them on. Win them over with your pitch and they will invest in your business and partner with you to make your dreams come true. But the question is, have you got what it takes to survive in the lion's den to apply for lion's den have an existing echo bank account or open a new echo bank account with a ten thousand hour deposit and visit www.ultima.ng slash lion's den to fill out an application form applications close on the 28th of february 2021 lion's den is proudly sponsored by echo bank and chapel hill denim in association with bank of industry and development bank of nigeria with the lirs as strategic partners to all the mothers in Nigeria, we congratulate you for progress on your journey, for all your efforts. While taking care of the family, you also didn't give up taking care of yourself. We congratulate you and all Molfix mothers. You are always the number one. Now, Nigeria.
Nigeria's number one choice of mothers have Mofix Air Dry baby diapers. Thanks to Mofix Air Dry, now babies and mothers enjoy the ultimate peace. Come and join mothers who experience Mofix Air Dry baby diapers. Hey, Doredo, bigger than itself. Now, 10 gigabyte data just land by eight or so. Guess how much? 3,000 naira. 3K, 20 for 10 gigabyte data. You sure can be? Make I add extra shock. 5,000 naira go give you 20 gigabyte data. Now, so be self for shock. That's right. With Airtel data, just a little more gets you so much more. Introducing Airtel More for More data plan. Like 10 gigabyte for just 3,000 naira and 20 gigabyte for 5,000 naira. Dial star 141 hash today. Airtel, the smartphone network. Meetings, online shopping, booths, and even online weddings. On that, if you are still aware of the transfer of each in NDR, for Kampu Pixels, and they will download that today on the iOS app store. How are you? Why? Because I'm using one token. They are so tiny, you can't see them. But they are there. And that is why I trust only Hyperbleach to kill them all. Make your white fabrics whiter and your household free of illness causing germs and viruses with the disinfecting power of Hyperbleach. Hyperbleach. 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk. What's up, Legos, baby? Get set. Welcome back. It's What's Up, Lagos. It's uh, 10.34. That's what the time says. And we're back on the show, and it's good to have you. Yes, and we're know? going straight to what we're talking about today on the show. So if you're just tuning in, I'm sure that you must have missed a part where we mentioned... Um, mm, um, we're in between... A, a, a very serious conversation. I mm -hmm. and Collins teaching yep. our child self-defense. Now we're asking, what is a thin line between teaching your children or your child self-defense and encouraging violence? Now I am I'm, I'm, I'm that I'm that I don't know. I'm not that kind of person who would want to encourage violence to my children. Mm. But you know, having to defend yourself is also a very important thing, especially uh -huh. if you have a girl child, just like what the caller said the other time. Mm -hmm. I mean, most times we're we're <laughs> really on, on the receiving side, but most times very vulnerable, right? Mm. So we have to, you know, defend ourselves in most cases, mm. also for the boy child. But my problem there is, are we not encouraging violence in the process? Are we not teaching them to be hostile? Mm. Where do we draw that thing line? Where, where, where do we draw the line, right? Collis wants to teach our son uh, boxing and kung fu uh, yeah, and but, wrestling you know, martial and what arts, have you. Everything. Yeah. The day he will carry you up and throw you on the floor and tell you no, daddy, is self is self defense. <laughs> they will understand what's happening. Anyways, you know the truth is it may sound as if we're talking about you know uh, Collins and Andrea and 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 her son, but it's That's much what more we're than talking that. about. That's okay. how this conversation started. Yes, I know, but but you know so now. <laughs> Yes, that's how we started. But, you know, we have to hear from you as well. All right. So there are a lot of things to look at. A lot of things to look at. In recent happenings, all right, events, especially in the country, in our present world, you know, have revealed that teaching children self-defense skills appears to be like a necessary thing for for their day-to-day -day living. Because you never know. You go to the street and say, ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> when he, he go, they give you slap, pat, pat, pat. You can't be, you can't be bullying mm, you all around. That's true. So you should know how to find your way uh, around in the world. So because of this, you know, the ability, uh, the ability to protect oneself physically from harm, you know, it, it's a basic right that should be accessible to everyone, including the children. Mm. Now, research has further unveiled that teaching uh -huh. children self-defense is of utmost importance. Uh, particularly in an age where when children building is rapidly on the rise. Mm -hmm. Now, it is based on this backdrop, childhood psychologists find that self-defense not only allows children to tangibly uh, def defend themselves against maybe physical attacks or what have you, uh, rather, it provides them with the various life benefits such as boosting their self-confidence yes. and, you know, helping them stand amongst their pairs, you know, in some cases, yes, right. Mm -hmm. So basically on this, this is actually the the 
backdrop of which we'll be having this conversation. And we're riding on this backdrop of information earlier given to you, like you heard from Andrea. We both would like to know and tell you, or for you to tell us, what that thin line, or should I say, what are the thin lines mm. that exist between teaching your child self-defense and violence? Now, there are a number of, you know, full-up topics as i mean uh, that's a topic questions as we go further we'll get exposed uh some of these questions that we're asking to guide you so you can know uh you know things like even understanding the importance of teaching self-defense to your children and their yeah. strategies uh, you know and, and also you know knowing that in fact this question is for parents for children for everybody for everybody so actually. we'll try to guide you as we go into the conversation right yeah. so the first one is that thin line, what are the thin lines? Have you ever considered that? Do you think that is violence? Do you think that, no, I'm preparing him? Mm-hmm. Have you ever thought of it that, okay, what if the guy go blow up his eye now? Mm-hmm. You now go to jail. Some people have used, and then how do you balance it for them to know when to punch and when not to? When not to, exactly. I think that's my fear. Uh-huh. I but, think- and then is it still necessary? It is actually. I understand the place. I, I understand them. how important it is mm. to, you know, teach them self-esteem. I mean, self-confidence and self-defense and what have you. Mm. But you know, I'm I'm afraid. I think I'm afraid for him becoming um, violent. Maybe hmm. I'm afraid of him becoming um, rough. Okay. Right. That's my fear. I think that's exactly my. Who no go rough for this? For <laughs> no, you. I, I, I don't. I don't like. Anyways. It. I don't want it. <laughs> No. I guess I see Comfort <laughs> nodding on the other side. And Comfort is like, hmm, I don't even know where to stand on this, but we'll, we'll probably get to hear from her later. Now, Lagos, the numbers to call. First, we have to give the special number for the ladies. Yes, my, ladies my darlings. Mm-hmm. Right. Please do call us. 01465-7190. All right. 01465 Nine zero. zero. So that good. number is specifically for ladies. And if you're you're, you're if you're anything else but a lady, um, <laughs> <laughs> you can call 0700-993-993-993. We have a lot of WhatsApp messages, right? Yes, we do. This okay. is coming from who now? Samuel. Samuel from Aja says, "What's up, Lagos? My name is Samuel from Aja. All right. I love Nigeria info. I love you guys. Your show is amazing, and you guys make my day every time I listen to you. Wow. Talking about Val, nothing to celebrate. Not after what happened to." Mr. Macaroni. All right, great. So I think we'll get to the social media highlights and talk about that much later. Uh, well, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. So but, s- mm-hmm. Okay. Servia from Bariga says, Hi, Collins and Andrea. If you uh, really go to a martial art school or club, you will be told that you do not use any form of martial art, judo, taekwondo, and the rest of them to intimidate anybody. You okay. only use it for self-defense and when pushed to the wall or it's a matter of life and death. So that's a that's a give-in, all right? Okay, it's, it's a give-in. You know, in the book, it's very easy to write it there. Exactly. Whether you'll be there when the person is doing exactly. the Exactly, exactly. That, that is actually, that, so, that's why we actually really know when to teach them this thing, okay. when to introduce them to self-defense. Okay. And I think that's a question we should be asking. Well, that, that's that's another follow-up question, no doubt. Remember that we're streaming live on Facebook and on YouTube. You can drop a comment on these platforms. You can stream and see her beautiful face and look at... And you his know. handsome face as well. Oh well, my thank God. You. Thank so you. Dark thank you. chocolate, you know. <laughs> For my consumption how do only. I, how, do I, <laughs> how do I believe that this is not... It is not some kind of... Uh, <laughs> bribery and you know, corruption. Bribery and corruption in some form. <laughs> Yeah. No, but, you know that I say this to you all the time. Yeah, I know, but you know the way this one came in now. How did it come I in? love it, but uh, how did it come in? I hope it's not coming with a price. It's not. It's not. It's not. Anyways, oh seven hundred nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three on YouTube is Nigeria Info ninety nine or oh, Nigeria Info ninety nine point three. Mm. All right, Nigeria Info ninety nine point three. Uh, that's uh, for YouTube and Facebook. All right, quickly. This is coming from Kunle. Kunle screamed, what's up, Lagos? And said, I am not too happy with the fact that I'm always hooked up when your show starts. Um, right <laughs> right now, there's no bomb me well to scream because I'm at Ladipo. Uh-huh. Make them no things say I don't crease. <laughs> but be prepared for my for my vibe whenever I get a chance to call. Oh, great. I'll we'll be waiting for you. Fantastic. I think we have our first lady here. All right. Hello? What's up, Lagos? What's up? Woo, 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 woo. Wow, look at you. I'm so excited. Yeah, 
internet. Yeah, the first lady. Good morning. Calling, Good morning. calling our de- dedicated line. Uh-huh. My name is Ola. I'm calling from Lapwe. Good to have you, Ola. Lola. Yeah, I'm going to teach my son self defense. Okay. Okay. But I'll let him know when to use it and not to use it. Will hmm. you be there when he's going to use it? Oh, oh. Or not? No, no, I'll teach him. I'll let him know because some children are bullied in school. Yeah, that's hmm. true. Very correct. Yeah. Very, no, but very what correct. kind what kind of self defense would you teach your child? Do you have an idea? Or will you consult an expert? Yeah, I'll tell him that when anybody spanks you in school, you have to spank them back. Ah. Mm. Spank yeah, them back. No, is, that no, spank is that no violence? <laughs> is that not what we're talking about? Uh, spank me, I spank you. That's violence now. No, no, it's not violence. You know, some children they will make as in they will the way they'll be bullying the child, they'll make the children to be like, to, yeah. be, to be scared. Yeah. Mm. So I have to right. let yeah. them know that, no, you don't have to be scared of anybody. That's, That's true. right. That's, That's right. True. Thank you so much Thank for that. Thank you for God calling. Bless you. Thank you. I think You're the... welcome. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Lagos? What's, What's up? up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I, I think yeah. the, the, the the part where, you know, got me was where she said she's going to talk to him. I'm going to tell you what to do, what, you know, and, and when, when to, to do, do it. it. Yeah. Right. So that means it actually just starts from mm-hmm. mental, mm-hmm. You, you know, talking to them mentally, yeah. building them up mentally yeah. before teaching them what how to use their hands or legs to say, I punch this person, I punch it. Or know. teach both of them together. Well, yeah. But, but, but if you look at the reality of our world today, the world is not a, it's not a common place. It's not a... Uh, everything is not equal. Let me put it that way. Okay. It's not a world where you can just wake up and people will be law abiding. You won't find any trouble. You won't, you know, you can go peacefully. You can be in a situation where somebody provokes you and pushes you to the point where they are almost, you know, bullying you out of anything. Mm. It's it's a survival of the fittest world, especially yeah. in Lagos here today. That's true. You know, though. everywhere, everyone is trying to get all the can and can all the gets, and you know, they're just like, we die here, we die here today. Everyone. I know. And 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 and. and, and that would mean that you have to be extra strong, you know, learn mm. so many things. Yeah. So so teaching the children might just be preparing them for, you know, the tough times ahead. What they're going to face in the mm. world. I know. I mean, I just have my fears. Maybe I'm just, be, like I said, I'm just in a mother. <laughs> I have my fears. And I'm sure mm. that a lot of mothers can also relate. A lot of mothers out there can relate. Yeah, so guys, don't forget, you can call. Yeah. Hey. What's up, Lagos? Good morning. Hola, I was thinking it was the next lady. Now, if you're a lady, you're trying to call, you're trying to call us. You know the number to call. 01465-7190. And if you're calling a regular number, it's 0700-993-993-993. So 0700-993-993-993. What's up, Lagos? What's up, Lagos? What's up? What's up? <laughs> yes. Yes. yes 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 the life <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, oh my yeah call it good morning good morning to you um and uh, good morning i think i'm correct andrea yeah <laughs> yeah uh, good morning good ma'am. morning thank you yeah how was your both night we, we thank the Lord. How did yeah. we sleep yesterday? Well, I can't remember, <laughs> all, but we're here. We're not out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Igwe Victor. I come from Oshodi. Good all to right, have you, Victor. Talk, Victor. It's been a while I caught last, so I decided to um, try to see if I can get through in spite of the fact that you can try ages before you get through. But <laughs> and God has answered you. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Mm. So, to the um, topic on Grant. Mm. Yeah. Um, when I was a child, when I was very tender, mm-hmm. I used to belong to the opinion of my dad based on um, the doctrine of Christians okay. um, that you should not fight. We were taught how we should not, or the fact that if you fight, you sinned against God as children then. Mm-hmm. So I realized that while I was growing up, if I go to school, like when I was like in primary five, if yeah. I go to school and I fight, and then the day they go to the church, some of my, my peer group will go to the church and report me and they will flog me in the church mm. that I fought in the school. Wow. So the trend continued. While I was growing up, I was confused. Mm. If I fight, now they will say, 
uh, they will report me to the Sunday school teacher uh, in the in the church that yes. I fought. Then yeah. they will stop me. Then he, when I supposed to defend myself, I realized that I was in between two opinions that if I fight or if I try to defend myself now, I will be reported. Then, in order to maintain a very righteous child, mm -hmm. I realized that before I could know what was happening, I became a coward. So, mm. by the time I was around like primary five, I said no. Even if they want to kill me in the church, let them kill me. So anybody that came across <laughs> me, I, I started beating them until I realized that I, I, I was a very strong person as in when it comes to uh -huh. fight. Then throughout my <laughs> primary school, they were all, uh, when I realized that nobody could beat me again, mm. I almost became a bully. But mm. that, that was the part I didn't want to to, to deal with. To do it. Yes. Uh. Then along the line, I realized that I should not try to um, build up my children with that kind of mentality of you are a child of God, you don't uh, <laughs> fight. You understand? Yeah. I have a very small baby now. Okay. I always told you, if anybody beat you, if anybody beat you one, mm. make sure you beat With your own back. Uh, yes. hey. It's not no violence. Hey. It's not violence. Hey. It's, not, it's not violence, my brother. Okay. You, we, you, you know, I always said this. They came with this doctrine of Christianity. You realize yeah. that we, the Christians, we always on the it's, it's condemning mm. you understand mm. so you continue to play right off and people will peer into your eyes and they will make sure they deal with you because they are claiming if i if i fight it, it will be wrong i mm. am my child if mm. anybody beat you one <laughs> beat you beat you, i will be so, <laughs> okay. becoming a very strong person. okay so, all right this is my own take to it. Right. thank you very much thank, thank you so you. much thank you for calling right. if you're missing out on this we're asking you the thin lines or the thin line between teaching your child self-defense and teaching them violence or encouraging mm. violence. Yeah. Now, let's not also forget about the importance of teaching children self-defense strategies. You know, there are, there are advantages and importance. Yeah. Like a number of people have just, they have stuck to, give me one, I give you two. But what did Jesus say? Christian, hello, please. <laughs> he says, slap one cheek, you turn the other one. Are you going against that? Or what? No, I need to know here. Anyways, <laughs> let's go back to the importance of teaching children self-defense uh, strategies. First of all, it empowers the children with knowledge of self-defense. Yeah. You know, knowing what to do to mm -hmm. defend yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then I also it also helps, mm. right? It also helps with bullying um, epidemic in schools. I know yes. that we it, you are not there with your child, so you don't know what they're experiencing on a daily basis and we have bullies out there mm -hmm. i had my own fair share experience with bullies yes in school but i hey. was I, that's that that was my secondary school well not violence mm -hmm. kind of bullying maybe mm -hmm. more of the um abuses insults uh you know making jest stuff i think i got that a lot in secondary school yeah. from one particular guy like that i don't think i'm really forgiving him i don't know if i mention his name now i'm doing bad well, let me just keep quiet. <laughs> you know, but but, but from, second, from from primary school there about, I think uh -huh. I was I was quite intimidated with my personality. I don't yeah. think I had any of that, you know. But also, there we know that there are bullies out there in school, yeah. and mm -hmm. this self defense teaching them self defense would help them with the bullying epidemic in their schools. Now, if you choose um, children, mm -hmm. it's also important. There are certain values and principles. That's true. Though. You know, one person was he jumps small to mention it in the WhatsApp that yeah. you know you're not taught not to do this yes for, i'm a, i'm i consider myself you know someone who is you, you could call me an amateur but i could you know i could destroy but i'm <laughs> I, I you know i get trained in this martial art and the first thing there's discipline number one you can't be a trained martial artist if you don't know the you know discipline i mean not in every area but it's mm. discipline to know and and that's that's some of the values that principles of discipline endurance um knowing when to you know push respond, extra yeah. and no one to expand no one to just smile and walk away no when to you know to do these things will be taught no doubt so those are some of the advantages of teaching um children self-defense strategies all right you also mentioned uh, discipline and responsibility mm -hmm. um i think teaching them self-defense mm -hmm. would also help them have a sense of discipline mm -hmm. and um you know responsibility knowing that you know you're responsible you start yeah. teaching if them you that hit a person you're responsible for hitting oh that person if you break a person's leg you're responsible responsible for breaking that person's leg you are responsible for your actions uh -huh. i think that's one very good and key advantage uh, oh. that self-defense comes with and you might also be responsible for your inaction because in the same blue you know dodge 
Exactly. Oh, you're responsible for That's the punch. also defense, right? Because uh-huh. you, you're defending you're, yourself. Now you're not you're not necessarily hitting the person back. But you're dodging. But you're defending. Or you yourself. stop the blow. Or you stop the blow. I'm sure I'm sure Femi can understand this totally because you know I just can't stand him. But <laughs> yes, he would understand this very well because I know a lot of people just think oh he's very humble, he's calm. But you know, find out more, man. <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> I'm warning you now. But really, Colin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, we have a call. Apologies. No, it's fine. Okay. What's up, Lagos? Mm-hmm. What's up, Lagos? What's up? Woo! <laughs> 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 Welcome, welcome. Who do we have? My name is Chica Bednigo. Whoa, how are we? Uh, first time caller. Wow. Good to have you. How do you feel? Tell me how you feel. That's just okay. screaming. The call is another they call you sis. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now she can't pick today. Maybe now she. How long? She's the one that picked. Well, uh, anyway, let's. Madam. Man, the street is razzo. The street mm. is very razzo. Uh-huh. So you need to you need to train your children to be up to the game. Aha. Uh-huh. Like my little daughter, I always tell her, don't look for trouble. But it's better if they beat you, you beat back. Mm. They will start looking for who first beat. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'll just, I'll just take that straight up. I mean, what a way to put it. I tell you. I you tell beat... You. They beat you, you beat back. Let's yeah. start, let this conversation start for who first beat, not exactly. that. Exactly. Who first who find beats. trouble? <laughs> who first find trouble? Anyways, we need to go on a break, right? Absolutely. We'll go on a short break, and when we come back, we'll continue the conversation to stay with us. More news and information coming up. We'll be back in a moment. To all the mothers in Nigeria, we congratulate you for progress on your journey, for all your efforts. While taking care of your family, you also didn't give up taking care of yourself. We congratulate you and all Mofix mothers. You are always the number one. Now, Nigeria's number one choice of mothers have Mofix Air Dry baby diapers. Thanks to Mofix Air Dry, now babies and mothers enjoy the ultimate peace. Come and join mothers who experience Mofix Air Dry dry baby diapers. You get to win money. You get to win 10,000 Naira cash on the Just a Minute Game Show. Call in to any of our shows. The Morning Crossfire, What's Up Lego, The Sunny Side, and Hard Facts. Answer as many questions as possible in 60 seconds and you stand a chance to win 10,000 Naira. Winner will be announced on Hard Fact. Just a Minute, the game show for everyone. Right here on your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Powered by Credit Veil. Virtual meetings, online shopping, mobile payments, and even online weddings. Alat, your pocket-friendly digital bank, is your plug to own your world as you can transfer funds, pay bills, buy airtime and data, and perform all bank transactions from your comfort zone with zero stress and zero hassle. Download the Alat app today on Google Play Store and on the iOS App Store. Alat. Powered by Then take me come eh? Na natural by nature. Like real chicken. Grizzly. Black and white pepper. Garlic onion. Parsley. Mushroom. Coriander. If you knock no seasoning powder for inside your jollof, fried rice, egg goosey, and all other soup, eh? You go no say flavor. Pass flavor. No seasoning powder. Natural by ingredients. Fanta by flavor. Uncle Dentist, what are cavities? And how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it use Kung Fu? <laughs> no, dear. Most tooth pains are caused by tooth holes called cavities. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate, because Colgate locks calcium in... <laughs> Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. In the information era, facts, events, and news are available at the click of a button. 
The information flow is inward, which makes the financial markets unpredictable. As a trader, you need to have a strategy. Most importantly, you need a trustworthy partner that will simplify things for you. Hot Forex is serious about its responsibilities to you. With its origin dating back to 2010, we are a multi-regulated broker with over 2 million live accounts, wide global presence, more than 35 international awards, tight spreads, multiple assets, reliable fast execution, technological innovation, and multiple account types. The Hot Forex team is always ready to deliver trading services and free trading education that you can rely on every time. And this is not just a mission, it's a promise. Visit the Hot Forex Educational Centers at 3rd Floor, Warala House, 90 Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos, or call 0908-517-6394 or visit www.hotforex.com. Hot Forex, for traders that want more. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. For now, let's see if we can squeeze in a call to proceed. And if you're just joining us, we're talking about the thing lying between teaching your child self defense and encouraging violence. One call before we go on the break. Hey, good morning. What's up, Lagos? Hello, Lagos! What's up, Lagos? <laughs> I'm happy to you. You that holy man from Kalahari Desert. Mm. Wonderfully and fearfully married to an Israelite lady, Andrella. Uh. <laughs> Take it from the name Israel. <laughs> you see? Andrella, as in how? Andrella, taken from the name Israelite. <laughs> Sorry, B, for that. Murdering of a name. They called me, they call me Tiki, Tiki for a long time until I say it was Teke. We need to go on a break now. The news coming up right after that. Stay right here. It's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. The news update on 99.3 Nigeria Info. This is 99.3 Nigeria Info. My name is Wemimo Adewini, and here are the stories we're following for you at 11 a.m. The Oyo State Government has promised to compensate residents who lost their property to the weekend's inter-ethnic clash. In the meantime, President Muhammad Buhari has warned against the use of ethnic or religious differences to stoke hatred and violence. A dismissed police constable has been sentenced to death by hanging for the 2015 extrajudicial killing of a car dealer and five youth representatives on the Anambra State Judicial Panel of Inquiry into allegations of such brutality have resigned citing the state government's lack of commitment. Former Finance Minister Gozi okonjo Iwala will be resuming as the Director General of the World Trade Organization today. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM, Facebook Nigeria Info 99.3 and Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos. I'm back again on the next hour with more news. My name is Wemimo.